Hi everyone, welcome once again. Let us now talk about a very key feature of Git. Yes, I am talking about branching. A branch represents an independent line of development. That means if you have a running project and you want to add a feature to it, you can take a snapshot of main code that we call as master branch. And then we can start the development. The master branch remains as is and the feature branch has all the changes for your new feature. Once we verify the changes, we can merge those with master. Therefore, branches serves as a abstraction of edit, stage and commit. It is also very useful when multiple people are working on a project and everyone is making changes to the source files. They all take a stable snapshot and start the development. As in when their changes are verified, they merge the code with master and rest of the developers can anytime sync the code with master to get the latest copy of stable code along with the feature they are working on. Let us say we create a repository on GitHub. We specify the name, description and we click on create. Now we take this URL and clone it on our local. So we run the command git clone and we specify the URL here to clone it. Now we see that we have the files cloned. We go inside the git repo and run git status. So it says that we are up to date with master. Now we are making our first commit to the master branch. So I am adding a file and name it as file1.txt. Now let us put some content in this and save it. Now we run git status. This file is still on working copy. So we do git add to stage it and then we run git commit to move it to local repository. We can run git log to see the history of the commits. We can also use a utility called git k to see the visual changes. So guys, we are ready to move ahead and create a branch. So this was the setup that we have done to understand the branching concept. So we will see that in our next video.